What's up guys, it's Sean here from Frosted Gaming. The biggest question that I get on my gaming setup, if not my gaming channel, is how do you set up three monitors? So today I'm gonna show you. Actually, we're gonna go into quite a bit in depth into it. So I'm gonna flash a few pictures on the screen. This is gonna be a relatively short video so you can pause it wherever you want to. Also, if you guys wanna see my gaming setup, it's uh, in the top 50 most viewed setups on YouTube right now. Go ahead and click the link right here and hopefully I put it there, but anyways. Um, so let's go ahead and go through some of the pictures. So basically the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna, first of all, you wanna have a computer, obviously, with a nice graphics card in it. It has to be an AMD 5000 series or above, and that obviously that was quite a few years ago. Uh, AMD 5000 series or above, and I believe an Intel, or not Intel, Nvidia, what is it, 600 series or higher, 500 series or higher, or an AMD 5000 series or higher. Um, you can basically go with pretty much any graphics card you want. You have to have at least one display port. You also have to have, whether it be mini or regular, you also have to have at least two other connections on the graphics card. So first off, you wanna have a computer with a good graphics card in it. You wanna have three monitors preferably the same monitors as I have behind behind me here. I have three Acer 2236L bids behind me, so they're 24 inch monitors, um, IPS panels. IPS is probably gonna be the best for iFinity. You wanna try to find something, if you want it to look really sleek, try to find something with a small bezel. So if you can find something with a small bezel on it, kind of fit the two side monitors behind the front one and do things like that, um, that would probably be your best bet to kind of get it looking like mine. As you guys can see right here, where am I? Okay. As you guys can see right here, there's hardly any bezel right there. So, I mean, again, guys, if you haven't seen my setup, definitely go check it out. It's one of my most popular videos on my channel. Um, so basically, you, you want monitors with D, DVI ports or, or VGA ports. Uh, your monitors, you're going to have to have an ATI an active adapter. It, yes, it has to be an active adapter. I'll show a picture of that on the screen. You're probably already seeing it. Um, also, HDMI. Monitors have to have HDMI, uh, VGA, DVI, whether it be the plus or negative DVI. I can't remember the, I think it's DVI L and DVI H or something like that. Uh, your display port, your active display that you're going to run your uh, display port out of, this active display adapter, you can div divert it to or convert it from display port to DVI or display port to HDMI, which is what I did. Um, basically, that's pretty much all you need, guys. And then you just have to go into your, uh, your settings on if you're running AMD, which is probably the easiest thing to do, iFinity. Uh, you want to go into basically click right click on your screen and go to AMD Catalyst Control Center. That's all you have to do. And then it'll, on the left side, it'll say My Digital or AMD iFinity Multi Display. And then you just click on Create Display Group. That's all it is. And then just follow the instructions, uh, move your screen resolution around a little bit. And if you're running 1080p monitors, you guys should be with uh, 5760 by 1080. So if you guys have any other questions, make sure you leave it in the comments down below. I'll be sure to answer as best, most of them to the best of my ability. But I will try to answer, I'd say, 90% of the comments, if not 100% of the comments. If you guys have any questions, make sure to let me know by linking a comment down below. Also, if this helped you, leave a like on the video. It definitely helps me out a lot. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Anyways, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Stay frosty.